um, you know, Jeanette went, went to work and started fixing the problem. And so one of the things I want to show you is um, one of their processes, one of their internal processes, um, you know, they do the, the tax planning. And uh, one of their internal processes is how do we manage the fulfillment of that? And so um, I'm going to actually log in to her application here and show you their campaign that she has that they built to manage their taxes. So when um, when someone comes uh, and needs to get their taxes done, Jeanette has created this campaign around building or, or, or automating and creating a process around that process and she's automated as much of that as she possibly can so um, it starts you know with all of their advertisements and when someone um, says yes I want to have my taxes done um, Jeanette has set up an internal web form here that she calls the intake form and this this intake form uh, gets filled out by someone in the office, uh, probably a, over a phone call, um, and she's given that, that person the step-by-step -step instructions for what they need to say when they're taking that new client. So they get first name and spouse name, last name, they get all this information. They ask the question, have you previously had taxes completed at Gleason Tax? Uh, this year, uh, you qualify for a convenient drop-off service. You can come by the office, um, your taxes will be prepared in seven to ten days. Um, we'll call you when your taxes are completed. Would you like to participate in this, in this program? And they can choose which one they want. Okay. And if they say no, they schedule the appointment. Right. So it's the step-by-step -step instructions. She's taken a uh, something that they were doing in the office, and she's created a process around it. Now, um, as you go, as they go through and fill out this form. Um, and press submit, Infusionsoft takes over. And if you've been on any of my calls, uh, when I talk about the campaign builder, I talk about these goals here as little minions. So this little minion is listening for someone in the office to fill out that internal web form. And when, that, when this internal web form is filled out, it goes and makes a decision. Now this might look a little complicated, but basically what it does is we're telling the little minion, okay little minion, if on the web form, the option of drop-off service is selected, put them in the drop-off sequence. If the form submission option, appointment with tax preparer is selected, then put them in the tax preparer sequence. So we've gone through and we've programmed and again, created the process around the process uh, inside Infusionsoft to um, go and put the person into the appropriate sequence. Okay, so in that sequence, let's say the drop-off sequence, let's go take a look at it. The first thing that happens is it puts a note on their record that says the client is participating in our drop-off program. So it just puts a note in there, okay, for tax year 2012. Then um, if we come to our drop-off directions, this actually goes and sends them an email automatically that says, here's what you need to do. Now, the other way to do it is to have um, have Malia, I think she's the one that takes the, and I hope I'm saying that right, she takes, she does the intake form. Malia can go and manually send this email out, but instead of that, um, Jeanette has automated that. So that's one less thing that Malia has to do, and also one less thing that can go wrong in the process. Now, um, the next thing that happens is it creates an order um, in, in Infusionsoft using the legacy action set it creates an order so that when they come and drop the taxes off, there's an invoice ready to go. And then it waits two days and asks for a referral. So this is going back to feed into that process, right? Um, and in that process, uh, if uh, you, they can get a $20 American Express gift card um, and have them call and let them know that uh, you were the one that referred them, and you'll get a $20 gift card, okay? So um, again, automating that process is figuring out, well, where else can I ask for referrals? It's a, it's a beautiful um, representation of what you should be doing, okay? And all of these different campaigns here um, are
are very similar, right? It's apply a note, send the confirmation, um, wait three days, ask for a referral. Um, this one, uh, this start line here, sends them an appointment reminder the day before uh, their appointment. So it's scheduled based on a, a custom field on the contact record, which was fit, which was uh, populated on that internal form, and it sends them that reminder. So again, if you when let's just kind of take a step back and look at this from a higher level, there was an internal process that was being done. Uh, but it wasn't real automated. There wasn't, there was probably a lot of manual steps in that process. And, you know, Malia would have to remember, oh, I need to send this email out. Um, and then I also need to send out the reminder uh, email about their appointment. And I've got appointments with, with the three tax preparers, you know, all day. And so I need to remember, I need to, you know, there's, it, there's lots of room for error there. But now let's say, you know, Malia gets sick or, um, you know, quits or whatever now it's just a matter of going in and saying okay new employee this is what you need to do fill out this form here's all the things that happen oh and i need to go update the signature on, in in your user account so that it's coming from you right that's that's all that needs to happen it's not a oh my gosh what do i do it's okay i just need to go find somebody else to do this job okay um and so that that's the on the at least the initial intake now, if there's uh, somebody needs to reschedule their their appointment with a tax collector, she's got a process for that. So, if someone uh, needs to reschedule, they go through and they fill out this form with the date and times, and that puts them into this reschedule sequence, right? That says, "Oh, here's your reminder." And then, uh, when the taxes are done, Malia can go and fill out this internal web form. And she can choose who the tax preparer was, um, whether they're picking it up or, or whatever. And if there's a, an appointment that needs to get scheduled, then it uh, she's got the, the automated processes based on what happens here on this web. And this here, when the taxes are complete, it stops these sequences as well. Okay, so um, this is a this is a perfect example of a blueprint where. Uh, you know, this this might not work exactly for you. You might not be a tax collector or not tax collector, a tax preparer. Um, you know, you might be something completely different. You probably are. What's the concept? What's the lesson that we can learn here from what they're doing? Well, everybody has internal processes, internal fulfillment processes, and um, everybody has some sort of follow up that needs to happen behind that. And so what Jeanette has done here is she's taken that internal fulfillment process and created a very easy plug and play way for someone in the office to go through and follow up with um, that, um, that fulfillment process and have it being done pretty automatically. In this entire um, sequence here, there's only three things. There's only three choices that Malia has to make. Do I fill out the intake form? Do I fill out the reschedule web form or do I tell them that their taxes are complete? Other than that, everything else is done for, uh, for them automatically. Um, so it's a, it's a really cool example of, of how to do this. So, um, and Jeanette, I apologize that I edited that. I'm going to just publish this for you. It didn't, I didn't make any changes to it, but you can see I'll fix that for you. So um, that's, a, that's a perfect example of being able to take a, a internal process and turn it into a, you know, the e-myth style, um, you know, process and, and franchised model that if you think about this, if Joe and Jeanette wanted to open up a new office, all they'd have to do is, is replicate this and have someone else fill out these forms, right? It's uh, it's it's not um, it's not difficult because she spent the time to put uh, to work on her business instead of working in the business. All right, so um, so that's that's one. And thank you, Jeanette, for for letting me show that. Um, the other thing that, as I was kind of looking at, at their website, one other thing that um, stuck out to me was that 
they have done a great job of picking up or pick or having different ways that people can get information from them. So I'm on I'm on the home page right now, um, and you can see that there's this second look consultation. Right, fill out the form, um, and we'll schedule your appointment for a second look. And it's you know it's nothing fancy. It's just a, an Infusionsoft web form that asks them to do that. But also, if you go to the different pages, each page has a relevant offer. Right, things three things you need to know before preparing your your taxes this year. Fill out the form, send it in, and uh, and you'll start getting those three things. They also have a, an identity theft report. Right, how to protect yourself against identity theft. Fill out the form, send it to them. They have five factors of affecting retirement income. Again, same thing. First name, email, which best describes you, send you the report. I'm, I'm just going to go out on a limb and guess that there's a different sequence for each of those three different people, right? Because there's, you know, Jeanette's good. She does a great job of, of segmenting her list. And then also the different types of consultations that they offer. Again, a separate web form for each different type. So it's a, a very specific offer. Um, that that they're offering, not just this general get a free consultation, right? It's a free consultation and receive your on track report. Um, same thing goes with this, the the uh, stretch IRA illustration, right? Get that, you know, get that thing. So um, that's something else. Again, um, they were spending lots of money getting people in the door, but not a lot staying in touch with them. And now, based on the things that they're doing on their website. They have a process. They have a follow-up method, and they're they're driving people to go and get the taxes done. They're driving people to come here and call to schedule their appointment. And when they call, it goes into that process that I showed you. It comes into this campaign. They call. They talk to Malia. Malia fills out the form, and the the rest of the process is automated. And what's interesting, um, if you go back to that uh, customer success story here. And you watch the video here. Um, one of the things that stuck out to me is that Joe mentioned that um, it, uh, it it took their small business and made them look like a big business, made them look like the big guys. And the results of, of the things that they've done, and this isn't everything that they've done. They've done other things too. But the results is they've increased revenue over 100%. They've, they've doubled their number of clients. And they're not spending as much money on marketing. They've done all of that by working on the business instead of working in their business. They could spend a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of ed energy and effort and money in just doing taxes. But instead, Jeanette took the smart approach and said, what can I do that, that is a, an investment in building the business and working on the business and building the processes so that we don't have to do those things? Over and over and over. Again. So um, that's that's a that's a great story. Um, the other one that I want to share with you uh, before we end today 